Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this video explanation about the star trails on our flat earth plane. They are going both uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. And this is confusing for a lot of people. Um, if you are very close to the center point, you will not be able to, to make them go clockwise though. Now we will take a tour around and, and see how it looked like from uh, around the world. But first, a little short explanation. If you take an umbrella and look directly up in, in it, and now you should uh, try to imagine a transparent umbrella you have drawn stars on. In the middle of the center point of your umbrella is the North Star, and you have drawn the Big Dipper around it. Then you take the handle and you rotate it so the star is going counterclockwise. Now try to imagine the sides of the umbrella going all the way down to the ground and your friend is standing outside the umbrella looking in. For his perspective, the stars will now go clockwise and not counterclockwise unless he's looking straight inside and up to the north power point, then he will see the counterclockwise rotation, but he will also be able to see the clockwise rotation of the stars. So, what I'm trying to say, it's a matter of perspective and nothing else. But let's begin this little tour around with the star trails. Here you are in Denmark, and they are going counterclockwise. Sorry for the star info popping up here. <laughs> yeah, it's. The, I found the curvature, it's jumping. There you could see Ballerup uh, location, and now we are turning towards south, and you have a clockwise rotation. Looking north, you will have a counterclockwise rotation. It is a lovely dance, isn't it? And again, you could see here it was Ballerup location, Denmark. I know the image is, is not from Ballerup. It's just the standard uh, background. Yes, yeah, I hope you're not getting dizzy. <laughs> and see here, looking south, they're going clockwise. Now let's, I think I'm going to shift position now. Oh, we a second more with Denmark. Now let's jump to Australia. Looking south. Now they're going clockwise again, as you see. And let's shift to north and see what happened. And now they're going counterclockwise. But again, uh, a factum is all the stars, no matter where you are on the plane, they're going from east to west direction. No matter if you see the rotation of the stars going clockwise or counterclockwise, it's always from east to west. Let's jump to South Africa and see what happens here. Looking south, Again, clockwise rotation, looking north, counterclockwise rotation. Back to south, don't get dizzy. It's a lovely dance. Now we're going to Chile and see what happens there. It's also one of the countries in the edge location. In south going clockwise, of course, and north going counterclockwise. It's simply uh, just a matter of angle and perspective. Nothing else.
Okay, this chill is still. And now let's go to Russia. The northern parts of Russia. Again, you see the stars going from east to west. And here we have a kind of half uh, clockwise rotation. And looking east, they're starting to go get counterclockwise. And looking north, as they should do, going counterclockwise. Everything is just a matter of perspective. It's a lovely dance, and it's perfect like a time clock. It's year in and year out, and some people would maybe argue this is not a valid program. But the astronomical clock in Prague is, is just the same. This is just version 2017. More precise, more details. Now let's get to Greenland. Now we are at the most uh, center north location I could find on Stellarium. And you can see they are going counterclockwise now. And this, uh, you see here, south still the same, west the same, north the same. You, you cannot make them go clockwise when you are at the center point, because it's like when you are standing uh, under your umbrella again. You, you're too close to, to, to be able to see the, the other rotation. You are not outside the um, the transparent umbrella. I hope you understand my example. Thank you for watching.